you know, there's a difference riding on roads like this. We're going to call them the back roads versus riding on roads in the city. Okay? And so, there are pros and cons to both of these environments or riding conditions whatever you want to call them okay and so that's what i'm going to talk about here i'm going to talk about the key differences between riding on back roads like this and riding in a city you feel me let's get into it appreciate y'all for coming into the video welcome welcome aboard you know, let's get straight into it. You know, in no specific order, I'm just gonna talk, you feel me? But here I am, we're gonna call these the back roads or, you know, rural roads or whatever. We're gonna start, you know, here. And one thing I can say about riding on these roads is, it's a lot more peaceful, all right? You know, depending on time of, time of the day, what time you get on there and it's worth noting to say depending on where you're where you're at you know a lot of these back roads can get backed up too especially during rush hour but for the majority of the time they're not you know it's, it's minimal traffic it may be it may be a little bit more tight and congested at times but a lot of times there's a minimal amount of traffic depending on the day but it is more peaceful and i believe what makes it more peaceful is you know all the trees all the vegetation they're not a lot of traffic lights and buildings you know you'll just see houses every now and then but it's mainly forests and stuff like that and for me that makes it very peaceful yeah, as normally you'll find a lot of the good nature scenery out here that you wouldn't find in the city you know that's a big pro for me at least a lot of trails and a lot to look at nature wise is what i'm saying a lot of the times this is where you're going to find a lot of your twisties too on roads like this I'm in Georgia, so a lot of these are a little further up north, but a lot of your back roads tend to be the roads where you got a lot of the wines in it and stuff like that. So, you know, depending on road conditions, you know what I'm saying? It can feel a little bit more, it can feel different, a little bit more fun. The back roads though, present a different sort of hazard though or there's different precautions you gotta look out for like different things you gotta be you gotta keep in the back of your head and wildlife is one of those right and when i talk about wildlife we're talking about deers coming out you know from either direction and we're talking about roadkill you know in the city like atlanta you ain't gotta worry about really no deer on a road like in the city but like out here, you know, you should keep in the back of your head, hey, you know, wildlife is a little bit more common out here. And I should be attentive, attentive of that. It's like roadkill, you gotta look out for. To turn into the city, you know, the reason I like riding in the city sometimes is there's a lot more to do and there's a lot more opportunities to socialize you know what i'm saying with other people or find events to socialize at right that's a big thing i like about riding in the city a lot more to do a lot more opportunities to interact and it's just in general a lot more it's a different type of architecture to look at too right I'm not saying the city doesn't have good views too because the city does. Somebody's bike is just sitting out here. Well, he didn't feel like, whose bike is that just sitting out here? See, the city has a lot to look at as well. It's just different. 
like building architecture is pretty cool to look at too especially at nighttime so you know it's a lot to look at it's a lot to do down there as well but with you know the thing with the city man depending on the time of day you're more likely to run into traffic it, traffic is more common in the city than no matter what time of day is because that's where everything is located that's where everybody's at that's where everybody go to hang out that's where everybody go to work etc you know it's just the hub for people it can get very crowded really quickly down there and this is a problem for bikers in the sense of let's say it's summertime right now it's not as hot but you know when it gets really hot you are very you're more likely that is a, that's a power plant that's a training wow that looks cool you're more than likely for you you your bike your camera whatever equipment you have are more likely to overheat okay you you can overheat get dehydrated more quickly your bike can overheat because it's not getting enough air and if you have equipment that can overheat as well because essentially you're not getting enough air you know that's how air flows through the front of the bike you know what i'm saying depending on what type you have what type of cooling system you have ultimately cools the cooling down you know what i'm saying cool the bike down stuff like that but if you're not getting a lot of airflow it's gonna be, make it pretty hard for your bike to stay uh cool now i know engines are supposed to be a certain temperature and not supposed to be cold it's supposed to be a certain hot but you run the risk of it getting too hot because you don't get enough airflow in the city all right that's a big con Ooh, and that's definitely worth mentioning as well so you know it's kind of like you know pick your poison there's always going to be pros and cons to everything but I, I personally like both of them you just have to be you have to just keep all this stuff in the back of your head when you are riding roads like this it's just a different vibe you know especially when there's nobody on the road like right now man just nothing like a nice cruise through like a scenery like this through nature like this you don't get these types of you don't get this type of feeling these type of look at this my trash can down the way mm -mm. you know you don't get roads like this and view and city view and, and views of nature like this out here like this see this is this right here is this vibe for that type of rider this right here alone is a vibe Look at this. We on the lake. Should we visit? How do I look at that lake right there? While I'm looking at it, how do I get up in there? Well, yeah, look at that. Look at this. Like, this is so cool. You can just gotta look at these twisties, man. But well, it's not twisty, twisty, but you know what I'm saying. This is a whole vibe in itself. This is fun, dude. Well, like I said, if you're looking more, if you're looking for an adventure, come to Rose, come to this, come to spots like this if you're looking for an adventure. Come to roads like this, go to the back roads, have yourself a little fun like this. It's a random couch, a random sofa. Come to roads like this if you're looking to have, I need to watch out for these leaves too. If you're looking to have an adventure. And then, like I said, if you plan on doing something, you're going out with friends and y'all want to ride, but y'all want to do stuff, you know, you go to the city. 
and you can ride around this city too but if you guys like the video be sure to subscribe for more content like this appreciate y'all for tuning in i will see y'all soon